23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. The Kern County Fire Department says Fire Chief David Witt is set to retire next month. KCFD says that during his time with them, Witt accomplished a lot, including improvements to firefighter safety, facilities, equipment, and operational organization. Right now, it's not clear who will take over that role. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics released the latest unemployment numbers today. Claims fall slightly to 411,000 as the job market slowly heals. There were about 418,000 claims the previous week. Weekly claims have fallen steadily this year from about 900,000 in January. And as more people rush to travel, airline workers are seeing an increase of harassment from passengers. The Transportation Security Administration is restarting the voluntary flight attendant self-defense training next month. The Federal Aviation Administration says it has received more than 3,000 reports of unruly passengers this year. In 2019, there were only 146. Meanwhile, the TSA says it is investigating two new assaults on workers. One incident involves a passenger allegedly biting two security workers in Denver. Well, for our Friday, the weather is looking all right. Temperatures right about average for this time of year. 95 degrees, your high temperature in Bakersfield. Looking over to the desert, a couple spots in the triple digits, 80s and 90s for our mountain community. So overall, not a bad day. We get into the heat wave very soon. Heat wave number three looming off in the distance. Another thing we're tracking as we head into next week, the possibility is there for some scattered showers and storms. So we'll break that down with the seven day here. Again, by Saturday, 101. That'd be the beginning of heat wave number three if that verifies. 108 on Sunday, very hot there. 107 Monday, 106 and 105 Tuesday and Wednesday. 10% chance for some showers. We are tracking just a little bit of monsoon moisture. So if that continues to show up in the models, we could see some scattered to isolated thunderstorms, which means we have the potential for some rain. Not a guarantee, but the chance is there. That's why we get that 10 to 20% chance. But of course, what is a guarantee is this extreme heat. And that's your latest news and weather update. For the latest update anytime, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23com